For tomorrow's workout, you have a three-part workout. Starting off with a nine-minute AMRAP of 21, 15, 9 devil's lunges, 42, 30, and 18 double unders. So the way this AMRAP is going to work is you're going to do 21 devil's lunges followed by 42 double unders. Then 15 devil's lunges, 30 double unders. Nine devil's lunges and 18 double unders. So you're gonna move through those for nine minutes. After that, we're going to do an on the minute. So we have nine minutes on the minute of 40 double unders. And if you don't have double unders, you can use this time to do double under practice. So I would suggest around 35 to 40 seconds of double under practice. So you're gonna go through nine minutes of that. Then after that, we're going to go through three rounds for time with a nine minute cap. So within these, the nine minute cap, you're going to have to do 25 dumbbell deadlifts and 25 sumo deadlift high pulls. So let's go through these movements. So you could either use two dumbbells, one dumbbell, whichever you have um, and feel like bringing under the viaduct. If you are using two dumbbells for these doubles, devil's lunges, you're going to come down to the ground, chest to the floor, popping up, cleaning those dumbbells up, reverse lunge, reverse lunge, that's one. So again, bring those dumbbells down, chest to the ground, cleaning those dumbbells up, reverse lunge, reverse lunge, that's two. If you have one dumbbell, you will bring the dumbbell to the ground on your one side, burpee, pick the dumbbell up, reverse lunge, reverse lunge, switch hands, come down to the ground, burpee, bring that dumbbell up, reverse lunge, reverse lunge, so that's two. So you're gonna go through all of those, then you're going to go ahead and do your double unders. Um, if you don't have double unders, this isn't a chance, this section I would suggest doing singles, not practicing, so doing singles instead of those double unders. Um, then, nine minute am, uh, the nine minutes on the minute, another round of double unders. Then after that, let's talk about these dumbbell deadlifts. So, if you have two dumbbells, you're going to hold those dumbbells to the side, sending those hips back, coming down as far as you can while keeping a straight back. For me, with my flexibility, I can come to the ground, standing up and fully extending those hips. Coming down, fully extending those hips. If you have one dumbbell, bringing the dumbbell to the side, or you can hold it in the center if you'd like. Again, the key thing is making sure we're keeping a nice tight back touching the ground, fully extending those hips at the top. If you're going to do it to the side, sending those hips back, making sure that we're keeping our body in a straight line, not sending our hips out to the left or to the right, keeping them nice and center, snapping up to full extension, dividing that evenly, as much as evenly as possible um, on both hands. Then for these sumo deadlift high pulls, you're going to bring your feet wider than hip width distance apart, making sure that we're tracking our knees over our toes, slight bend in the hip back, coming down, pulling up, making sure that our elbows are coming up in line with our ears, or in line with our ears, sending those hips back, and pulling up. Coming down, slight bend, and pulling up. You can also do these strict if you have a lighter weight. If you have a heavier weight, it's okay to come a little bit back and pull the dumbbell up. That is all the work I have for you today. Um, make sure that you're bringing your jump ropes, yoga mat, kettlebell, two sets of dumbbells if you want, one dumbbell or your heavy object, and we'll see you under the viaduct.